Hello. Damn you. Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing my adventure here through Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And a mission was successful. Huzzah. The reason I did that, can't damn you, is because... Oh, guild. Guild contract. I wonder if that's just tooltip being a tooltip or if that actually means something. But yes, we are continuing my Brotherhood playthrough. And the reason I went to add down you to my microphone is because, like, it has a ha like, it's good for the most part, but I have to be careful with it because the arm, because I have the I have like an L arm, uh, mic stand, so it's like straight up, and then an arm that you can like adjust the length of. It's not like a a flexible desk mic arm. So, and because of the way it's made or maybe because of how the way I treated it, uh, it spins in its, uh, in the little tube that holds it to the main, uh, stand. So, uh, if I bump my microphone, it has the tendency to go whoop, but luckily my current microphone, like, uh, holder, uh, basically it's the shock mount, that's what it's called. Shock mount! Uh, my current shock mount allows me to, uh, it's, it's very good, it's very nice, and unlike my previous one, doesn't let my microphone fly away. So, I don't have to risk cable damage or anything. But we're gonna go ahead and, uh, check out the missions that we've completed, assign more people to do things, and then we'll need to decide what to do today in the game. Because I don't really think there are that many, like, side quests left to do. I don't think... We could do assassination missions. So we'll probably do some assassination missions. And then probably continue the restored memory line until those run out. And since we're going to be over here doing assassination missions, we can check out and see if any of these have opened up. I doubt they have. They'll probably open up with an actual story mission. But still, in fact, since we're going to be heading to that one there, I would say... Uh, we'll check that out, then head up, do assassination missions, blah, blah, blah. Just make sure that it's not ready to go. On the offhand chance that, for whatever reason, game goes, Huzzah! Freedom has been gifted upon you! All right, you can level up now. We give you more weapons. And he's our first level six. No new contracts, but there is a steel valuables. So we can send a level five at that one. Finish that out. Assault the tower is still going. Steal a relic. How good is a level six going to do in there? 11%. Oh, we definitely need high, high, high level dudes to steal a relic. What is that? Like, a reenactment of Assassin's Creed 1? Honestly, wouldn't be surprised. Assault nobles. Beat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. Find the mole. That should be easy enough. Actually, I'll keep my two bar. I'll keep my two bar of assassins. I know I just went through a bunch to be like, I shall find a thing for you to do, but I think it's better to have two bars of assassins for now. Wait, is this the same horse that I stole from the guy? I get to keep stolen horses. I s throw a guy off the horse. The game decided to do a jig there. <laughs> All right. Uh, the game lost its mind. Neat. And a mission has been successful, so we're going to have to go back. Hilarious. Well, let's go. <laughs> let's go despawn my horse. And, like, send more assassins out, because that's a funny little thing. I interact with this and my horse disappears. Want to see a magic trick? I can, I'm going to make this horse disappear. 
Potentially. Watch it not disappear my horse, and I come out looking like a doo-doo head. A silly man. You get new weapon. You get new weapon. And, uh, contracts. Apparently there's a new contract down here. Deliver a confession. Still hilarious that that is such a hard thing to do. Uh, might as well get this bribe a herald out of the way. I know. <laughs> You're going all the way to Moscow to bribe a herald. I don't think they thought through, like, and the, like I said, magic trick horse is gone. But I don't think they thought through, uh, like, the missions and where they're sending your assassins. Bribing a herald in Moscow, and there it goes again. I guess it's a loading distance issue. Of which fair. Hey, what is the matter? Grand Theft Horse. He's actually running after me on the horse. Just to harass me for running my horse into his. What a petty man. And nope, none of these places are open yet. They are mission locked. We cannot continue. Profound sadness. I could do the... It's been a bit since we've done a lair of Romulus. Let's go do it. Then we can do the assassination missions. That are the two assassination missions that are available to us. Yeah! Fine, 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 fine. Can't wait for another beat this in eight minutes and then you won't be able to. So we'll laugh at you for not being able to beat this in eight minutes, even though this dungeon probably wasn't made to be beaten in eight minutes, and we just stacked that on there, just like, blah, blah. I don't like those ones. They're very basic. They're the basic bitch, 100% synchronization bonus objectives, and I hate it. I'm, I'm honestly shocked that that didn't make me take damage. Hello, Astro. We are continuing our Assassin's Creeding. And I resign myself to suffering through another Romulus lair. Just because I don't like the 100% synchronization. Like, uh, things they force me to do. Well, force me to do. It's just that the last two Romulus lairs that we've done have both been the complete this in eight minutes. And I don't like speedrunning. And I keep forgetting that I need to go back and 100% synchronize with those missions. But they're just so boring. They're such basic, boring missions. Also, <laughs> why didn't, the other ones we just kicked, why did we pick the lock with our knife on that one? And we ended up kicking it anyway. Just finished AC Revelations, really good game. Can't wait to get to it. Can't wait to experience more Ezio. As much as I do kind of snark at the games from time to time and like, why is this? Like when the uh, guards just decide to uh, know you my counters, where I counter them, I stab them, and then the game says, no, they didn't die. Ooh, do not lose more than three bro blocks of hell. It's different. It's new. It's not a stupid speed run. It's a miracle! It's an actually interesting 100% synchronization bonus. Because now it's something that I have to be careful, not fall down and take damage. And when I'm in a fight, I need to uh, pay attention more. See, that's the kind of things that you expect. Something that recontextualizes the mission rather than, and now the mission is going to be just this. Oh, the okay, game. What the fuck? Okay, I still don't understand why sometimes the free running decides. Oh, you want to go down here, this place that nobody would ever want to go, right? I don't understand it. Apparently, that guy's alive. I don't trust him. Well, apparently, he's been damaged. Are you gonna wake up and force me to run? Nope. He Okay, he violently threw that chair. Alright. Nope. Not a 
up here. And goodbye. Ooh, so this is gonna be like a combat run. Nice. Your death is written as a man. By your forger masters, you know nothing. I know you receive enciphered letters from them. Prove your innocence. Tell me where the code sheet is hidden. So is this gonna be another run run? How are you gonna run with that, like, flowy dress? I could have totally shot him with my gun if I got the chance. The game knew that and didn't let me lock on. The guy jumped down purely to come back up here. Game... That is very silly. That is very silly that the guy would, like, slide down to confront me, say, you know nothing, and immediately go back to where he was. And because we can't shoot him, I... Oh. Merda. Which one is it? That's honestly hilarious. <laughs> and nobody questions? Does Altair have the gun in AC1? I haven't played AC1. Nope. Uh, you don't... You only have, uh, throwing knives in that game. It is very much, uh... Downplayed. Target located. Where? Oh, is where is he? But yeah, you have the uh, like a knife blade, which doubles as throwing knives. The hidden blade, sword, and fists. That's all you have in AC One. It is very much more uh, limited. I find it funny that if, like, you somehow lose the horse, you can get new horses. Also, oh, now we get Gallop? This guy just has controls. Controls over everything. This is a very interesting chase. I like it. And because it doesn't, like, uh have the feeling of, lo, can you kill him properly? There we go. Kill him. Kill I hit the button! The game cheated me. The game cheated me. And the game is still cheating me. I hit the kill button like the game said, and the game then punished me. The game cheated me. But oh well, I gotta kill more dudes. <laughs> but yeah, Assassin's Creed 1 is pretty different from Assassin's Creed 2 in a few ways. Like, uh, there's less, what's the word, like, uh, grandiosity to the assassinations. And is more like, uh, a day job for Altair. Where it's like, go here, kill this guy. But mostly, like, uh, the one thing that I do kind of prefer in Assassin's Creed 1 is you actually go and, like, get information on your target. Like, you go and eavesdrop on some people so you learn certain things. I feel like they should have expanded on that with Assassin's Creed 2. Like, because uh, the problem with Assassin's Creed 1 is you didn't have an incentive to go and do all of the... Uh, like, uh, reconnaissance missions. The only, like, uh, you only have to do three out of, like, six to do them, and some of them are just stupid. Game. I, I kind of understand, uh, I missed one that was to the left out of frame, but still. But, like, I think it would have been cool if you could actually, like, gather information on, like, the target that you're going for. And that would, like, affect the final assassination mission. Like, you'd go and learn, oh, there's an opening of the guards over there. And, oh, there's, like, uh, 
you can, like, uh, maybe lower the amount of guards there are by killing them while off-duty, and then they'll just go missing, and they won't be prepared for you as much. And just, just like, oh, uh, the, this, like, uh, entrance to the area where the assassination will take place, you can do this and open up an entrance that you can use. Like, I feel like that would be interesting evolution of the reconnaissance missions that they just did away with for the most part. <coughs> uh, interesting. You get to place Altair in one of his memories in his old age in AC Revelations, and in that memory he pulls a Glock on someone, so maybe the gun was invented a couple of decades after AC-1. Probably. Because in Assassin's Creed 1, you start with everything, then you get demoted, and uh, then you have to, uh, with every, like, assassination mission that you do, you, like, level up and get a new rank again and get your stuff back. So, they don't really have that much for you. It is a bit weird in that some of the stuff, like, uh, oh, sorry, you can't shove people out of your way while running until you reach this assassination rank, or sorry, you can't counter anybody until you do your first assassination mission is a little silly. Weapons make sense. Tactics? <laughs> I mean, I guess... Uh, I, well, I guess I shouldn't uh, spoil it because you haven't played it, unless you don't care to. But it's just like, technically there might be an out, but it is still silly. But that is all the Romulus layers, I think. Well, all the Romulus layers that we have access to. Unless more are magically revealed to us. So let's see. Any Romulus layers pop out of thin air? It does not look like it. So, now we will first go to the pitching and Coop and then do these assassination missions since they're here we can do them and then we'll continue looking for Leonardo da Vinci and by that I mean uh, looking for his paintings that will hold information and probably get him back I do not believe that they have the balls to kill Leonardo or the historical rev relevancy I don't know how he died I am but a fool Ah, we have another level six. Nice. And now a bunch of contracts to do. <laughs> Steel contracts, you say. Go out and do that, because why not? Again, just hilarious that the steel relic is super duper hard. What is it, a reference to Assassin's Creed 1, how it opens up? <laughs> Assassinate a spy, uh, considering that we might have Ooh, can we do this one? I'm gonna do this. Purely because if they fail, it will be both hilarious and just downright mean. I was surprised at that in AC Revelations that Ezio barely did the Resquiescat and Pache prayer after assassinations. Huh. Could be just, like, getting on in age. He's just like, man... I'm not gonna, like, talk down to the dead, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to, like, praise the dead. <laughs> or, like, rest in peace to the dead anymore. Maybe it could be that, uh, after Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, people are like, uh, the times where he just kills a random enemy and goes, Resquia Scott and is, uh, could be seen as a little silly and just, like, a time-consuming, where it's just like, yes, we, we get it, you can have it be implied that in actual times of things, Ezio actually said it. You don't need to have him actually repeat the same soundbite every single minor Templar that he kills. That's what I, uh, when I get to it, I'll be able to, like, analyze it a bit more, but I guess you could like, uh, assume that it is an implied Resquies Gatempache. Then again, if he doesn't even say it to the big guys, his main, like, confessionals, that would be interesting. Then again, by that point, he'd be very old, so maybe he just forgot the lesson that Uncle Mario taught him. 
Like, not enough to be like, I am going to mock this guy who's death and more just, ah, I killed the guy, I'm gonna move on now. Ooh, this pigeon coop, which has a specific job for me. Tactical correction. Finish the memory within two minutes. Cesare has called one of his chief tacticians back to Roma. He's a valuable asset, so the Captain General has provided a horse and an escort. I suspect neither of them will be a problem. Let's go. For the moment day. All right, now. Ah, oh, that's why they give a horse here. Now go add the diddly D. I don't know why I can't gallop while out in the open world. Yeah, it just, it just uh, I don't understand why. It feels so odd to not be able to gallop after that lair of Romulus. Did they just decide to take it out for the open world because reasons? I don't get it. I need to kill the guy on the horse first. On, let me game I hate you smoke bombs game game this is kind of rude to not let me do things and that is how you complete a mission in two minutes by just stabbing people. And then just random woman standing amongst the bodies for some reason. Well, that is done. That's just the barracks. Let us go. Ah, yes. Oh, I guess we could have uh, activated that mission from either of those pigeon coops. And so thus they are gone. Hm. And here I thought they were two different missions. Well, put that out of the way, and, uh, like, no glyphs to do. Let's double-check that. I don't think we have access to any other glyphs. I think they're in other areas. Oh! Aqua... Really? Oh, yeah! That's a, that's a place that we discovered, but it's on the wrong side of the wall, so we can't get to it! Oh yes, that's right. Well, uh, off we go. Let's uh, let's uh, go. Since that's very far away, actually, just because it's so far away, we will drop by this area, see if there are any shop quests that we can finish, and then if not, we shall go and say hello to. Leonardo. I don't know why you are angry with me, but I shall not take your horse. Come on. Jump off. It's a small ledge. Jump off. This is partly why I don't like using the horses. They glitched us all. This is why I prefer Skyrim horses. They can jump. <laughs> and now you'll be stuck there until I leave, probably. And then the game will laugh at me. Up at least my secondary location of where I want to go isn't that far away, so... These guys come over with, uh, good, uh, items, so I'm gonna kill them. By killing them, I get good items. 
last time I ran into them, they held items of goodness and nicety. Ambergris. Don't think there's anything about that... ...mean. Hold R2 to do, to break their riding. Got it. Silk. Ooh, we might be able to do one. We might be able to do one upgrade. Or, uh, shop quest. And Elephant Ivory. Don't think that that was one of the... ...ones that I needed for a shop quest. No idea what that guy said, something about a demonstration. I do find it kind of interesting that I guess, like, if you're near an area that has, has a lair of Romulus you haven't done yet, you hear them howling, maybe. Or maybe they're just like, lol, wolves. Could always be either or. You could never tell. Here in the wacky world of Assassin's Creed, is it cosplayers or actual wolves? Yeah. Again, I, I don't understand why they kind of took away the capability to uh, gallop with horses in the open world. Were they afraid that that would make the, the journey across Rome too easy? I just, I don't get it. It just seems very silly. No, you cannot actually use the horse. Being able to use the horse is too fast, too furious. But while we go about looking at the shop quests, I don't know. I guess I've been working on my simpler video ideas a bit more. Hopefully we'll begin like proper diddly -dee of that soon. I can make the sword! Ah! I can make the sh Now, does that just mean I can buy the sword now? That'd be kind of hilarious. All right. Hopefully that's the right sword. I already forgot, I, I just, my brain was just, uh, diddly D. Happy to have uh, a shop quest finished. So I just like completely missed the weapon that I did the shop quest for. Let's see, I think you were the other one that I. No, uh, actually, I don't think you were. I still need that Papa Ver Silvaticum for. Uh, the Vaticano treasure map. Next time, yes? I know where all the treasure is, but I need these specific future. items to be able to transcribe it onto a piece of paper. And... Uh, large quiver. Huzzah! Upgrade time. Shop quest away! Like, I guess I could buy... I have so much money, I might as well buy these upgrades since... Who knows, maybe I'll want it someday. I'm not going to get the heavy sheaf, because I'm never going to carry around a heavy item. I'm just going to use my normal sword. But let's see. Although with that money, I probably could have renovated a building, maybe. Although I think we only have, like, a handful of places that haven't been renovated yet. And I think it's, like, you. Let's check your... Let's check and see, like, uh, how expensive renovating that will be. And since it's so close, we can also check out that. And then we'll go searching for Leonardo. I have money. I might as well see if I can spend it. Also, I think I uh, understand why I thought the... Oh, that's the... 
that's the main mission. I was just like, why is that there? What is that? I was surprised. But pickpocket? There we go. I'm not gonna waste my time chasing him down. The game's mean. I almost thought he was gonna slide off and mock me with his death. Jo a jar of leeches. I killed him over a jar of leeches. Because that's the only reason that I hunt down the pickpockets anymore. They give items. Again, I don't understand the fall damage of this game. But. Bibbidi ba. As I was saying before I got uh, distracted by five billion things. The... I think I finally comprehend a thing that I was confused by. Because I remembered the, like, uh... Oh, uh, for just a split second I thought I had the money. Just a split second I thought I had the money for it. Well, either way, we can come down here, check that, and then uh, do missions. Or do missions and then sit, uh, check out price, but either way. But again, the thing that keeps getting interrupted is... I thought that recruiting people was to be in the Assassin Brotherhood was a bit more in-depth than... Like, uh, than it is. I thought it was like that first mission where you uh, kill the executioner so the guy can cut down his wife's body and actually have a nice life. Oh, thank you. Random alert. You're a fool and an idiot. Suffer grandly. What? Uh. But yeah, I thought that all of the recruitment missions would be helping people individually with a multiplayer character, and then they join my brotherhood. And then I think I just uh, extrapolated like that one guy and his mission to cover all of the recruitments. Just for some reason. I think that's good enough. And I'll take the bump to my assassin amount. Well, actually, let's see. How many assassins do I have now? To use. One. <laughs> that was the perfect amount. Okay. So, yeah. I think I just extrapolated that one more in-depth mission. And then the other missions that, like, uh, point to the multiplayer characters. And just, like, assumed that's what they all were like. Oh, we can buy this. We'll buy this. Why not? We can buy it, we can buy it, let's do it. Increases the amount of money I make, and just knocks it off the bucket list. Personally, I find it a bit odd that nobody of the Borgia is like, gasp, Ezio is buying up all the property in Rome. All of the shops, all of the big places, he's buying everything. Somebody bankrupt his LLC. <laughs> like, Rome was organized. Surely, some kind of authority over, like, the matters of big business would exist and thus report back to the Borgia. I can grab that game. Why can I not grab that? Why can I not grab it, Bob? Why can I not grab it? I like that they temporarily didn't care that I killed their friend. I stabbed a guy. Well, I guess technically I did stab a guy with a crossbow bolt because it was so close range. And his friends didn't care. I meant for it to be the gun. But I am the fool. I just wanted to, uh, show off my aggravation at the game not letting me, uh, climb the obviously climbable. Again, that's totally climbable, why? 
That is totally facial features of a building that can be gripped by the hand. Why would you design something that cannot be grabbed? And Ezio did a little shuffle near the barrels. Okay. Is the game going through another uh, glitch seizure where the game will just decide to flip out at random? Okay, the game intentionally supermanned me away from the building so I couldn't grab it. I'm feeling targeted by the game already, and that does not bode well for the future of life. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Okay, I don't know why that one was so loud. <laughs> Douche. Dun, 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 dun. At least I got a bunch of assassins back since. I think I even got money put, yep, money put into my bank there. So we can hit the bank, hit the assassin pigeon coop, and then head to do the Leonardo mission. Perfect timing. Uh, and again, hopefully not foreshadowing of, uh, glitch seizure time to haunt my life. Because again, the last time odd things happened, the free running just went terrible. Guards refused to be counter killed. And just a, a numerous other oddities existed. This bank exists because of me. I own this bank. When I come walking in, it's like I am the bank's landlord. Because I kind of am. Which again means that Ezio is part of the 1% and that he's charging rent. And Ezio never once confronts the ethical consumption of withhold... Well, I guess technically he did like pour money into it to renovate it and make it livable again under Borgia rule, but we don't know, like, uh, what kind of landlord Ezio is. If he's a good landlord. Ooh, a level 7. Lots of level 7s now. And more level 6s. Neat. Uh, plant a list. Defend the Brotherhood. They have identified one of our brothers. We just do, we don't even have enough assassins to make that one really plausible. And do we have enough to assault some nobles? We do. Go assault some nobles. Assassinate a thief. You will assassinate a Templar thief who has been stealing from our allies. You'd think if he knew who we were, he would point to us and say, The assassins! Kill them! Considering that is, like, way beneath the amount for you. Assault a beggar. Again, I know it's meaning a Templar posing as a beggar, but that is just such a bad name for us, the good guys. Go assault a beggar. You know, we're the good guys. Because the good guys assault beggars. Crash pad, crash pad, crash pad! And now I shall, ooh, a boat. I can use a boat to get to where I need to. And because we do a little pranking. Doesn't count as murder. <laughs> Doesn't even count as murder. Doesn't even count as murder. That's the best part. I wanted to jump to the other rowboat. And like jump up. There we go. Do not be taken in by 
didn't uh, expect it to just start. You're here for the painting? Yes, Patrizio. I don't understand why they designed these guys to look like evil La Volpes. Do not use the rooftops during the tale. I hardly ever use rooftops during tales anyway. I totally blend in, guys. Why are you next to the only dudes? The bird of only fans. Now get ready for only dudes. I want to get into the group. Smells like southern trash. I hate southern trash. Ah. Kind of rude that that counts as detected, though. How else am I supposed to get through without using the rooftops? So this synchronization bonus isn't done because of, ooh, let's make something interesting. It's more like, ah, we put one specific annoying feature in and uh, made it annoying as fuck by comboing it with a stupid, stupid, stupid diddly D. But I have a new idea. We're going to wait until, like, they're around the corner, and then we'll smoke bomb. Rather than... Go away. Don't search. That is super annoying. Alright. Gonna wait for them to go around the corner. Smoke bomb! And then I'll sneak on through. That's probably what they expected you to do, more than anything, but at the same time... Tutana sent it to me as a present. I want it out of my house. We will be glad to add it to our collection. As agreed, the master waits at your palazzo to take it off your hands. If I walked by them, they would try to kill me. But if, since I smoke bombed them, they don't care. But, yeah, uh, kind of sad that I can't use the Assassin of Brotherhood. Well, maybe because they, like, directly saw me. Because I did it so early, maybe, but still. Once again. I want to do cool thing, but then game does not let me do cool thing. Sadness. And I have to do it again. I have to do another smoke bombing. Ooh, checkpoint time. Neat. Gonna give it just a moment. Smoke bomb! I wonder if they'll come to harass me like the last ones did. Or maybe they just expect me to AGAIN? Maybe they expect me to, like, take roundabouts. Smoke bomb! How was I detected? Oh, because they turned around. I guess I have to wait until they're out of sight before even using smoke bombs. Or maybe I stood too close to the guards and they got annoyed. That's possible. That just feels odd. And again, it just kind of feels like they went out of their way to make an annoying mission structure. But I guess if you know where they're going, you can kind of do stuff like this instead, but at the same time, you don't really know the, like, layout of this area because there haven't been, there is nothing in this area that, like, encourages you to come here and, like, explore. There is nothing in this area. There's nothing to renovate. There's no shops to come by. Like, so not even, like, a, uh, a portrait shop to get unique portraits from. 
there's nothing here to come and explore, so you don't even remotely know the area. You don't know where these guys are going, so it's just like, it feels odd that they have this specific annoyance of, lol, these guys are going to uh, guard the place that you're uh, going to. I'm going to come down here and see if I can loop up. I can. So that's probably what they want you to do, but my way's cooler. I want to smoke bomb or, or kill the guards to make way. I want to do the cool things. But then the game is like, no, no cool things for you. Which is just ever so slightly annoying. <laughs> they were actually kind of running. What is it? What's going on? Damn, peasants. Come with me. <gasps> are they going to come down? They are. <laughs> okay, that was a cool, that's a cool twist on the tailing. Because usually, they don't do that. They don't double back. So that was neat. I like that. There's a Romulus treasure here? Well, I guess it makes sense. But at the same time, kind of funny. In the opulent part of Roma, there's a cult. Just hanging out. Okay, that's just me. They are intentionally testing my want to use rooftops. Are we gonna go buy more guards? Okay, I do find it kind of funny that they have checkpoints specifically of two guards to be like, lol, screw you. We made a 100% synchronization bonus and then put in obstacles to make it super annoying. Speaking of annoying and obstacles. You, you look like someone I killed in as Altair. That woman used false passion to seduce me. The error lies in her Spanish blood. I Racism. Such untruths you so casually utter based on little more than a name. These countries, these groups make such easy targets for the lazy and ignorant. You should tell her He's that. gonna be killed, the isn't he? Because he doesn't look unique. I have changed my mind. That painting does not deserve to belong to anyone. <laughs> Also, that's a long knife. Take the painting and examine it for clues. Be careful. Human hands aided by a fierce intelligence made that. Treat it with respect. Go. Can we just kill him and take it? I still can't use uh, the rooftops. So I need to be careful. Games, please. Reduce distance to target. It's not my fault that you gave this guy the... F why am I chasing the flash? And I don't know why, but sometimes my TV just decides to black out. Don't use fucking rooftops and then you have him use the rooftops? Game! That is mean. That is another intentional dick move. Why is he even doing it? He doesn't know I'm chasing him. I need to equip the gun. Like, I assume we're still in the, hey, don't uh, go across rooftop section of the game. Which again, just makes this very mean. I do not like this design. This is a dick move. What do you think you're doing? Because again, they specifically made the 100% synchronization bonus. Don't use the rooftops. Is it, is it still there? Do not use the rooftops during the tail. But I, I, I don't trust the game. I have the ever-present uh, nagging feeling that the game might screw me. 
at like any point. Dang it. This is just an annoying mission. Game, fuck off. Reduce distance. Uh, reduce distance and stop. Why do they care? Why is he so fast? This is stupid. Why, uh, again, why are they making me chase the goddamn Flash? This is the dumbest shit. Why am I chasing the goddamn Flash? Why couldn't I walk onto him there? Kill him. At least now, my assassins can kill him. And of course you come down right in front of me. My assassins. Kill him. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm going to assume that... Let me check. Okay. So it was just in the... the tail part, but I don't trust the game. The game worded weird things beforehand with the stop this guy before he beats up the courtesan. And again, that made me think... Oh, don't let him, like, even lay a hand on her. Or else why would it be so easy to stop him? It just felt very off and weird. I'm not a cold-hearted killer. I'm just a maniac. And another diddly-dee. But we'll... Stop by, da la da. I guess check our inventory and the for like money put in there, and then the other restored memory. Let's see inventory. No money in the bank. Every wrestler's least favorite wrestling challenge. No money in the bank. Oh, I guess a funny little fun. Well, I guess not fun, but like just random fact. I made my own font today, which is just supposed to, like, mimic my own, like, shitty handwriting. Again, for my simple video idea, where it's just like, video editing is time-consuming and stressful for me, so I'm going to make simplified videos so that I can still, like, get my video essay thoughts out there without, like, never making them. So I just need to actually get around to making them. I have been making progress. Mostly my brain hooked on the opening joke, but blah, blah, blah. And once again, I find it hilarious that the assassin to do uh, the proper assassinating was somebody who just leapt out of nothingness. We'll go ahead and Assault a spy. We probably don't have. Like, even if we had. Like, yeah. We, we need level 8 assassins before we can even have. Like, a full team of level 8 assassins to do that one. For 23 experience, I don't think anybody cares. Well, well that will level you up, so. Doesn't hurt to send you out. Destroy? Oh, I thought it said destroy a guillotine, which I just would have thought was hilarious. For 21 experience, not really worth it. For 75 experience, though, definitely. Deliver a report. For 84 experience, also worth it. Scout the supplies. Let's see. How difficult would this be for a level 6? Like, even if two of them did it, it would... Stealing clothes is beyond my level 6 assassins. Defend a spy. 
Uh, if I if I didn't have only just one assassin there, I'd send both of them. But I want to keep at least one assassin. On you can do it just to waste time since might as well make use of you while we can. And now we shall head and do another restored memory, which will be the third painting. And then hopefully by the time we actually get to the meat of it, I can summon my assassins again. Because I also completed a challenge in the game by summoning my assassins in a core memory. Which again, I find hilarious as that again implies that my assassins are constantly tailing me. Like a shadowy army that not even I can control. My army is vast and beyond my control. Help me. Uh, crash pad. I just knock on the door. Would be hilarious if I could just buy a painting back. Buongiorno. Is this the home of Francesco Colonna? It was. But now the banks own everything. We have lost it all. Even the Da Vinci paintings. A lesser part of Signore's collection. I have an interest in them nonetheless. The three paintings were put up for auction and purchased by a merchant of Firenze. Ah, he prepares to set sail from the harbor itself. immediately. Grazie mille. Time to go kill an innocent person, but at the same time, these people probably are not, like, innocent. Do not be detected by the robe disciples. Oh no. Which means, there's probably going to be robed disciples around the area of interest that I will need to avoid. At least I can go over the rooftops this time. Without guilt. And with that in mind, I'm going to put on... For a moment there, I thought it locked me because I was climbing, but oh well. It was just the control wheel being odd. Why didn't you grab it, game? I, can, I know I didn't press the, hey, reach out and grab, because I thought that you would do that normally. Like, I have seen Assassin's Creed characters reach out for less. I feel like the game is fucking with me. Well, we need to make it out. Not be detected by rope dudes. I thought that the ro the trees were roofs. Oh, it's the rope dudes! I need to pay attention to my mini map. Granted, killing the rope dudes would be nice because they have uh, special drops. They drop items. At least last time they did that I killed them. Get game. Why? Luckily, there doesn't seem to be too many robed dudes in this area. Wait. That... It's him! Auditore. Come back down to the harbor when I return to Rome. It's him! I, I was like, wait a minute, that guy looks familiar. It's the guy who cheated on Claudia. Living in this third-rate city instead of beautiful Firenze? How low you have sunk. Duccio, we are not children anymore. Look around. I have help this time. And you are all alone. I also have I am warning weapons. You. <laughs> but we are only well, talking. Well, I we do not? have my assassins. I see this place has worked its magic on your sister. She did not want to open her legs in Firenze. But now, she is the Madame of Rome. Cazzo! Why are you just standing there? Eat him! I guess, no time for kill. Can't kill them. You Beat up Duccio. But that does not mean Firenze will take you back. I mean, I love that it's basically telling me, hey, summon assassins to do this. He's 
learn to duck. Also, why does Duccio not look like any older? He looks the exact same as he did, like what, 30 years ago? And he has health. What, do I kill him now? It, oh. Oh, he just ran to get help. I was wondering about that. I was like, why can't I lock on to him? Where is he running? The answer being, he was running to get help. Like a coward. Oh God, he has a lot Your of help. Intended to be one of us, but we all knew you were outsiders. I also love that these guys don't even have health bars or health blocks. I'm trying to. Why is game like no beat up Duccio when oh that was brutal, Ezio. The game wanted me to beat up Duccio when I wanted to get rid of his allies first. Get him. I love that I also have another icon of, hey, kill this guy. Because there's an official out there in the distance. Taking out all your goons. Also, your goons are very poorly dressed. I just realized, this guy has his own brotherhood of minions. Mine are well made. This guy, not so much. This is hilarious that they brought Duccio back. shut your mouth and give me what I want. The three Da Vinci paintings. One is on the boat. The other two were sold to a cardinal. He is displaying them for high That is hilarious. The they oh, bought, right, brought indeed. him back. Uh, how should I know? Go ask your whore of a sister. I am sure she has slept with a couple of cardinals. Oh! Honestly, that looked like a kill shot. Well, Duccio. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Goodbye, Duccio. I, I swear, if he becomes like a running gag for... Oh, and I'm still under the don't get found out by rubbed guys, aren't I? Yep. Where is Marco? He was the conqueror after examining another Da Vinci painting near the Vaticano. Imagine, once we open the temple, the true Renaissance will be upon us, and the teachings of Hermes will be known to all men. Patience, brothers. Soon we will reveal the secrets of this painting. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to ledge assassinate there. Those two guys exist. And I, again, I just realized... Uh, <laughs> and the thing is, I think if I call my assassins to kill some of these guys, that would count as me being discovered. So I can't even, like, uh, do that. I don't think. Like, that would be a nice clarification if the game would tell me. Game. If the game would, like, go out of its way to inform me, like, yes, you can use your assassins and these types of things, but I feel like they would have, uh, considering the other meanness they have done with this game. Up the game! 
I can only assume that... No. We cannot do that. He doesn't see hands on the railing. He is a fool. Wait. Oh, I thought that uh, the game was uh, punking me for a moment by uh, seeing the gold of the Herald, the town crier. It was like, wait, does that mean that I have been a fool? Also, again, really miss my dual assassin blade. Again, I'm scared of, like, being discovered by either throwing the smoke bomb or calling in my assassins. Again, I, I miss my double hidden blade. Hmm. Oh. Aerostorm. There we go. Works for me. Came out in just the perfect time. Wait. Uh... Okay. At least Aerostorm came back right when I needed it. Well, we shall go to the Pigeon Coop and then head out to the other restored memory. Just keep on this Leonardo train. Where's the steampunk alternate universe where Leonardo da Vinci invented the train? That has to be an alternate universe somewhere, right? Has to exist. But even though uh, Aerostorm came in clutch there, let's send out all of our assassins again. Because again, I don't know what would happen if I actually like had an assassin run up and stab them. Defend a scientist. Send you two out to do that difficult one for a good amount of experience. Yeah, there's no way that you guys can do that one. How about this one? Requires three, but you can do it. And now we're back to one again. Well, let's head out and find the fourth. Painting, I guess. Again, it would be hilarious if w the last one we just walked up and said, I would like to buy your Leonardo da Vinci. But uh, considering that it was bought by a cardinal guy to show off, I can only assume that we're going to have to be killing. Gonna have to. <laughs> oh dear, here I go killing again. Ezio just forever. Surely there's no need to be rude. You do not understand. I'm here to kill you. First, I will be exceedingly rude to you. And then once you have given up on life, then you have my permission to die. Hey, Zico! Off we go to save Leonardo. And I could summon a horse to ride there. 
Or I guess I could uh, do a fast travel. Is there even any reason not to fast travel at this point? Eh, it's not that far away, but at the same time. The fast travel points are right next to each other. They're literally right next to each other, so why not? Of course, that does mean I have less opportunity of running into, like, beggars. Doubt, like, the thieves will run up and try to shank me in the middle of the road. But off we go. Like, maybe to meet Claudia and be like, hey, Claudia. You know any cardinals? Buongiorno. Have you ladies heard of an art viewing somewhere in the city? You have returned to Roma. We've just left. enough time to visit you. I don't think I left. Ezio, do not lie to me. I need to get inside the private showing of Da Vinci paintings. There is a viewing at the Castel Sant'Angelo later today. You will need an invitation. Fortunately, I know where you can procure one. It will give you access to the lower floors. Only cardinals are allowed higher. I will become I a card on you. See, si, see. Si. Some of my girls will accompany you. Buona fortuna, and don't get caught. When have I ever gotten caught? Do not let guards discover any dead bodies inside the restricted area. All right. Dead bodies in the restricted area only is what I need to worry about. You want Very interesting. The latest Vogue artist? So if I kill people, I'll have to drag their bodies away. Full on hitman. But at least the game was clear and set specifically in the restricted area. Because, like, unlike the, uh, like, ah, do not use the rooftops during the detailing. It's like, I, I didn't trust that one for some reason. It's just, like, just specific enough to make me think maybe it would work. But, like, uh, just offhanded enough that I was, <laughs> I was afraid. I was fearful. Crash bat. <laughs> that was got to be the best jump Ezio ever did, only to take damage. Hmm. Do not let them discover any dead bodies in the restricted area. Ah, oh, and it's just this hidden uh, restricted area. Come on over to this side, little man. Nobody can hurt you at the docks, least of all me. I hate the guards being hyper, like, aware. Come on, just let me kill the guy. What's the point of being able to drag guys from docks if they're just gonna be like, I see you there, in the shallow water? Again, what's the point of... Also hilarious that the... Resetting the area allowed the fishermen back in. Bye bye. Jerk. Because I know that there's another guard that patrols these stairs, it seems. Because that red dot there. Well, then again, my avatar is probably covering up the red dot. Ah. Actually, the answer is no. They do not exist. Alright. Time to get swimming. 
because that dot there, again, you probably can't see it, is actually those two guard gate, the gate guards. That guards that act as a gate. I could summon assassins, but not sure how that, like, functions in relation to discovery and... See, no dead bodies are found. They are made. Dead bodies aren't discovered. They are mercilessly used for killing. They won't care if I take the stuff now, because they're too distracted. The invitation is not here. I will deliver it to Signore. A Borgia deliverer? I must kill him. Tackle the messenger, not kill him. Did the game also expect me to kill them? I wouldn't be you. I know. I know. Awfully for me. Tackle time. Got it. What exactly prompted that outpouring? Have been burning us. Hey, I wanted to throw down a. Let me get back up. Kill them all. The dead body. Why was the dead body so physical for so long? That's bullshit. Why become anonymous when I can just kill them all? I'm just here. To do a bit of looting. Rope guys come down from the sky. Of course I'm gonna kill them. Whatever this is about, and the thing is, I'm still afraid to sell anything for extra money. Because the game was mean and said, ooh, shop quests exists. So now I don't know what I can sell and what I can't. Let me see. How much do I have anything? There's no money in the bank. If I had enough money in the bank, I would have gone to, uh... Oh. <laughs> I guess we're right here. Then I guess we'll send out any, like, assassins that we want to on missions. And then we'll commence with that mission. Oh, and I never did finish my thoughts on Duccio, but I wonder if Duccio would, like, become the, like, uh, boat captain of Assassin's Creed. Where it's just this one guy who keeps coming back again and again just to suffer. If it was anybody who deserved it, it would be him. Because, like, in God of War, the classic ones... Like, I think even unto the third God of War game. This one character at the beginning of Assassin's... Ah, uh, 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 yes. Uh, the f one character in Assassin's Creed 1 comes back in God of War 3. No. But this one character from the beginning of God of War 1 keeps coming back in various forms of torment. To be tormented. Come with me. Once we get inside, I will mark the paintings for you to steal. Bring them to Leonardo's workshop. Capito? Mm -hmm. And this time, I actually get to go to the event with the invitation in hand. 
Unlike last time, where I won it at a masquerade. Invitation? I have it here. right here. <laughs> oh my. Come back soon. <laughs> I hope. Just don't get in my way and you should be fine. Do not use any type of ranged weaponry. Oof. Do not use any kind of ranged weaponry while in here. That is going to hurt. And I don't even have access to my assassins. They are not as ever present as I had hoped. And I don't even have my dual assassin blades. Where did they go? Got Night Joe. You are amusing yourself, yes? What? What the fuck? Not in this country. What did I do? I turn on my ego vision? Okay. I do not want to ruin my day talking to Merda like you. What did I even do? I walked by you. I have to stop. Interrupt my day. Okay, that painting is under guard, so. So what's the goal here? Use eagle. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's just like I can't like get too close to the paintings, I guess. I assume. If I can, I need to get some dead bodies. Ah, there's one. But wouldn't that, like, get me known if I kicked that and it dropped on him? <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. And the thing is, I can't even kill the guards because... Like, they'll become aware. Well. Hopefully they don't. not like I, I assume that yeah well remaining undetected so I can't get into any fights ah but I can use courtesan please don't steal my courtesans just by walking by they did Oh, that's actually a thing. I thought that was a glitch where I was trying to loot a body at the same time as freeing the painting. But nope, that's just uh, the normal you are doing a thing. The are now open to the cardinals who wish to see additional expressions of devotion. You ever just have like a flash of imagery where like you have an idea of what a picture would look like in your head just in a flash and you're like god damn it I wish I could like How draw daring. it I have not seen an enunciation the idea is like the thing that popped before. into my head the was suffers, I kind think. of like the light of God is not properly expressed it <laughs> does not move me you are truly stuck in your ways my friend but like the the flash of vision that I got just for a moment was similar to the uh, water, uh, not watchers, the witcher 
medallion. Like, don't use any ranged form of weaponry. The creepy whispering is an interesting choice. And again, I can't use any ranged weaponry. Throwing knives, nothing. Did it change at all? Well, remaining undetected. I was but detected there. But apparently the game does not care. Like, could I get in? No, that doesn't seem like the way in. I doubt the game would, like, try to get me to do the same leap. So I think the game actually wants me to walk on in and try to sneak. I'm just a cardinal wearing an unusual cardinal uniform. Yeah, <laughs> move. Kind of hate when sometimes the game goes like that. Or like the auto climbing breaks. Don't know why you're guarding this. <laughs> I gotta search you quickly and throw you down into the hay. No, pick up the body. The goddamn body. Away with you. Luckily, I don't think anybody searches or patrols that way. Uh, okay. Immediately taking your body away. It's like an RTS game. I'm just slowly extending my area of influence. And of course, loot! I have 999 down there and it shall go away. And again, the fact that they took away my... I doubt this will be open. Yeah, that's what I figured. Hmm. What even is the point of this? Uh, maybe... Nope. I think there might be a bit of uh, leeway, it seems, where if I get detected and then kill them like a split second after they discover me, it doesn't actually count against me. Which I don't think the games did before. So that is just a nice bit of quality of life right there. Just an ever so slight bit of quality of life. Going to explore up here because why not? I also kind of dig the 
reusing of areas from main missions. Because it's big enough and it's going in a different direction than before, so I don't mind it. Killed all your guards. And they have one guy guarding these. How the hell are courtesans gonna steal this? That is a very big painting. Isn't that I know that. Think that I escaped. Couldn't obey the law. Aha! On him! I can't see. I see him! Hurry! Hey, come on. I will not. Stop running! Fine. Camera, why? Well, it took away control of the goddamn camera again. That's stupid. <laughs> That's just extra stupid. It took away control of the goddamn camera. Hopefully, uh, that doesn't count as range jumping off of a place. I don't think it would, but this is also Assassin's Creed that sometimes can be weird. Ah, pigeons. hunt for me. Does not look like it. It is just to get out of here. Get out of here time. Okay, uh, dancing on thin air there. Two of the paintings are missing! Be on the lookout for a thief! No, no. Again, how the hell did the courtesan sneak out a full-ass Da Vinci painting. Like, the full, full-ass Da Vinci painting. Because it was so big. I don't think that the courtesans could sneak by all of the guards and then sneak out with the full frickin' painting like that. The smaller one, sure. But one that would, like, require multiple people to move properly without damaging it, let alone move it quickly. As in, you'd need multiple people to move it quickly. Uh, you would not be able to move it quickly on your own. Let alone at all without being super conspicuous. As like, I have no idea. I have no idea. It's hard. It would be hard enough for them to get out with just the smaller one. But the bigger one, what the hell? Let's see. Any uh, buildings that I want to renovate? Uh, let's go renovate that place and then do that. Why not? I have the money for it and nothing to spend it on. Like, they severely nerfed the amount of, like, uh, armor that you can buy in this game. And, and again, I find it hilarious that after all of the work we did to get Altair's armor in Assassin's Creed 2, 
in Brotherhood, they're like, yep, it's gone. Technically, you can wear it, but... Canonically, it seems like it's uh, gone forever. That's certainly not a common sight. Because they're like, you need to wear this cooler, like, uh, more mature Ezio Aditore assassin getup. Out of the way, woman. And the guards don't care about that. And yet you still trust them. You are a fool. <laughs> but hey, at least I got the... Because uh, uh, I was thinking back on the mission where I was just like, hmm, I didn't really use dead bodies to distract anybody. I just used the courtesans, but at least... At the end of the day, I did get an achievement for crushing a guy with the pulley system. Take him. He's not going. Oh, there are thieves! <laughs> and now I get items from you. I didn't think you guys would actually try to rob me in this place. How adorable. If one of you would drop a Papa Valar uh, or Silvaticum or whatever, that would be very nice. Yep, nope, just more of the same. And again, I was like, I'm just afraid of selling anything because what if it's needed for a shop quest in the future? Doubtful, but still. I buy this place. I can put all my stolen paintings here. And renovations are complete in this area. And despite that, we still get thieves wandering the streets looking to assassinate people for money. Oh, oh, what I should do is send uh, some assassins out to do things along the way. I'll hit up the pigeon coop there and then head there. Yes. Perfect planning. So we'll probably finish off this quest line and depending on like how long that takes, like maybe this will be the final mission, maybe there's two or three more missions and also not all missions are made equally. So yeah, to, well, try to go for another 30 minutes to an hour. And then from there, we'll probably end the strum. That way we just don't spend too, 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 too long. But still get a lot of interesting things to do. And then we can get back to doing the main missions next time. Level up time for a bunch of assassins. And they're almost, they're getting up there in levels. Soon they'll be max level. And then I'll have to send like the baby assassins with no experience on training trips with the big guys. I think that'll be safe. And if not, well, if you can't do a five, like a five percent potential to lose, then you're a fool and deserve what you get. If I send out a full team, just not worth it. It's not worth it. Anything below, anything above five percent is just like not risk. Do not risk it. like, <laughs> assassinate a thief again. But that's just not enough experience for you guys. Can you 
do it alone. That is way too, way too risky. Why is difficulty three and difficulty four like such a leap in experience? Just such a leap of experience. I guess that one's not bad experience-wise at the end of the day. Still, for that final stretch of levels, Quite, uh, quite difficult to level up your assassins past a certain point. And now I'm kind of reminded of, like, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, That you could, like, send people out on missions, I think? I think you could do that. Yeah, you could. Maybe someday when I play through the Metal Gear Solid series, like, on stream, I can give Metal Gear Solid... Five, uh, a nice look over again because I did play through like the the main bits well, aren't you a funny one? but it's been a long time and I mostly just remember the broad strokes of the story have you found anything nothing is there no pages nothing that cannot be something must be special about them think I'm done thinking these paintings are a blank slate. Salai, doesn't Leonardo conceal his research? Cypher he frequently stuff. writes backwards. Special, he also experimented with inks, including an ink that vanishes. But we, we must can't damage see these ink. priceless paintings. Can we? Ezio, use your gift. You know yeah. about that too. <laughs> Piece of Leonardo's hidden drawing bag. Discover the location of the catacombs in under five minutes. Together to discover the entrance to the catacombs. Drawings on the painting. We were right. Aha. This one has been searched entirely. Oh, this one's gonna be an ass. Aha. Aha. One There's only two on here. this one, thank God. one as well which just means the small ones are probably gonna have five billion I see a drawing somebody in a, the Assassin's Creed team Everything is just like fun. puzzles puzzles everywhere Found one. Still find it hilarious. It's like Ezio, use your gift. You know about that too. I found two drawings. Other one, other ones. Uh, that must be you. We get the last one. And of course, these ones are extra tiny. Got one. Uh, what? Not on his hat? Aha! 
You have finished with that one, I see. There we go. I have found all the images. They seem to fit together. Draw them already. Bring me paper and ink. <laughs> Draw them with your magical mind powers, Ezio. You don't need pen and ink. Is that a map? Show me the entrance. I must first position its pieces. Wait. What about the burned paintings? It is likely the missing parts will not be needed. If we can, Get like... to bet on that? <laughs> <laughs> no. The missing parts might be able to be inferred. Like that one's top. Oh, no. Ah, north. So you... Alright. You're one of these. I hate that I can actually turn them. Oh, that's not what I wanted, game. I just wanted to drop it. That goes there. Do you go? No, it does not seem like. No, that. Close, but no. Set you there and see if we can find any of that, like... No. Aha! So you're either this, or you're upside down. Tell me that this is part of the timer? Oh, fuck off, game. That's bullshit. That is honestly bullshit. Fuck off. I hate that. That is stupid. That is fucking stupid. Oh, fuck off, game, with these stupid speedrun shit. Do think fast. Fuck off. I am not at all. And our drawings on the painting. Like we were right. Not at all. Pleased with that Everything shit. Everything found. That is so fucking stupid. I found one. That is genuinely so fucking dumb. Found two drawings. And the thing is, it ruins a perfectly good puzzle. Because I like to take my fucking time, you assholes. Got one. I like to take my you time and actually enjoy the fucking puzzle. Oh, but you can just replay the memory. Fuck off, oh, fuck off. Oh. There is one here. You put the fucking condition. Know, then. You put a condition in there. You cannot be upset when when somebody goes, "Why the fuck do I have to speed run this, this on my first time?" Entirely. You are the one that made the decision to make it a thing. You do not get to have any kind of say. I'm like, uh, play it this way. One drawing here. There were two. Play in game this, one this as way. Well. If you don't, you're wrong. Can I skip the cutscene because it probably. It's taking up time. It's probably taking up time. Which is just honestly bullshit. Alright. Vibbity-bobbity, I think you go there. 
All right, that works. Nope. Nope. Let's see if these go together at all. They do. So they could be like, uh... No, that doesn't. No. But yeah, I am honestly, honestly aggravated by that decision. That is just some of the dumbest fucking thing in the world. That honestly just angers me. I'm just utterly infuriated. That, that is what they fucking chose for this goddamn mission. Why? I hear the goddamn ticking away. I hate it. Dear Lord, do I hate it. Almost no cigar. I don't... Yeah, note, some of the pieces were lost in the vilifier, but... What the fuck do I do with that information? What the fuck do I do with that information? Yeah, I was like, note, some of it was lost in the vilifier. But obviously this can be completed. Because you put the goddamn time limit in here. And it's just like... The time limit would not be here. If... <sighs> I hate this. I'm looking up a... F I want to look up a fucking guide because... The fact! The fucking fact! That they put a time limit! On this shit! Aggravates me. Beyond anything. Okay, that actually works there. God fucking damn it. I hate this. Well, I was like one little piece away, wasn't I? Alright, time to fucking do that again. Because this is fucking stupid. This is the dumbest fucking decision anybody has ever made. Uh, Speedrun puzzle. How about you go fuck yourself, game designer? This is stupid. Let people enjoy a fucking puzzle. It's a good puzzle! And they just ruined it! With this stupid bullshit. Speedrun puzzle! There are uh, drawings on the paint. Difficulty! Go get we were right. fucked. There were two in these one as well. Cause it honestly pisses me off that they would do that. I see a drawing. It's just like why? Why in the world would you ruin a puzzle found. by forcing people? It's like, it's not even a complete puzzle. It's a stupid little... He diddly he. He diddly he. I found one. Puzzle's not complete. Figure out puzzle in five minutes. Found two drawings. It's stupid. It's just fucking stupid. 
It's one of the dumbest things on the planet that anybody would ever fucking think of. There is one here. Found the know that. Cause like, just let people enjoy your been goddamn entirely. game. Yes, you can put in fucking little challenges, like, don't use ranged thing, like, things that Got make one. it kind of a self-imposed challenge. You have finished with that. Not something that is compulsory like this. Fucking god damn it. I hate it. Oh, do I fucking hate it. All right, you went there. You went up there. Like, yeah, this honestly pisses me off. That one, no. Because yeah, it honestly ticks me off. You went like somewhere like there. Where's the other one? There was another one that worked there. No, it was you that went there. And then you went there. Because, yeah, that decision just brutally just does not gel with me. Oof, 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 does it not gel with me at all. I'm starting to see a potential answer with the lines that are going hither to thither. But Jesus fuck, I am not a fan of that decision. Okay, then that basically confirms that you go there. All right. Uh, there we go. There I spit. Bed ran it, you assholes. That would have been one of my favorite puzzles yeah. in the Assassin's the Creed the games Catacombs. so far. Go. If not for the fact Bring that they force you to do it. Oh, it's an optional on, thing. You know what fucking is? You put it in the goddamn game. It is compulsory. It is something that they expect you to do in some shape, way, or form. You put it there, it makes me want to do it. You can't just say, well, you can just choose not to do it. Like, the only times that I choose not to do something in a video game is if it is really annoying or just not my speed, like uh, racing in open world games. <laughs> it's just like, it's one thing to be like, oh, personal preference, but when I see a challenge, especially it's part of like a main mission, that's like, ooh, for 100% of this, it's like, it feels more, uh, more of a compulsion, a thing that you sort of have to do. Because it's completion. I'm not a super duper completion person. But I more prefer to do things as much as possible. So when the game is like, lol, fuck you. Dipshit. I get really... Fucking angry. Because it's just artificial difficulty at that point. Just mean, mean, mean bullshit. They're just like, why? Why even? And again, sure, I know I could always choose not to do it. But it's something that I can do along the way of something that I'm already doing. It And it just further solidifies my hate for the stupid speedrunning, speed challenge, 100% synchronization stupidity. Do mission, but fast. 
is just stupid. And also that little note that was, hey, need we repeat thing we said? Some paintings were lost in the fire. Fuck off, you assholes. Shut the fuck up. No shit, I know. We're doing a puzzle that doesn't have all the pieces. Fuck. That just really angered me. Really, really annoyed me. God, that is just like, it annoys me so much when games do shit like that. It's one thing to be like, ooh, do kind of like parkour puzzle fast, because it's kind of like a, a race in a way, but do puzzle, like actual puzzle puzzle fast? Why? It just feels annoying when games do shit like that. Do not lose any health squares. That's also gonna be a little annoying. Game. Don't lose any health squares. By the way, our parkouring is shit. It's going to completely ignore the obvious path. In this obviously designed path. That is some of the dumbest shit. Who even is that? Like, I know, robed dudes, but why are they, like, implying that Leonardo was a part of them? Tell me where the entrance is. To have thought you sought knowledge is hiding. Why seek knowledge without putting it to use? We have the chance to fashion a better world. One in which we So basically, Templars 2.0, again. And what if I choose not to be a part of your that is foolish. Do you not see? We can banish ignorance, free people from their social classes and kingdoms. I hate that it takes emotions. control of the goddamn. Everyone will have the truth. For the love of God, stop Sing taking control the of the camera, the you asshole. Maybe it wants me to do this. It does not want me. Stop taking control of the camera. I hate it. It's so fucking stupid. All you did, but I don't fucking know what you are, you assholes. As above, so below. That is the hermetic vow. Together we will make mankind into gods. Now show me the entrance. <laughs> I did get fucked, game designers. That is so fucking stupid. I didn't even press anything. The game just decided, oh, Ezio fall. The fuck. That is unacceptable. Yes, I am finished with your obstinacy. Roger that, it is. My body will be. I don't even know what the game wants me to fucking do there. There's nothing to fucking do there. Quit taking control of the fucking camera away, you goddamn assholes. We must make climbing up twos. Get fucked. Such stupid design. Like, maybe there's something obvious I'm missing. But it's just like, this is why you don't take control of the goddamn camera away. Because it just makes me feel like, oh, over there. Now I see it, but goddamn it, game. Just fucking stop taking control of the goddamn camera away, I goddamn beg of you. It is so fucking stupid and poor, poor, just fucking poor design. Newsflash, if your level design is so shit that you need to take the camera away and say, Look, player, this is where we want you to go. You're a goddamn idiot. Never make a game again. I'm getting very angry at this game's design decisions when it comes to this kind of bullshit. Like, sometimes, lightly, would be one thing. But it just constantly does it over everything. You who arrested Cesare Borgia, who stopped the spread of Roman I arrested Cesare. Convince our friend Leonardo to open the temple and usher in the golden age of mankind. So this is post-game. Do I persuade our friend by kicking him? 
Or would you rather I use my knife? So apparently I don't kill Cesare, that's a spoiler. There is nothing I would like more than an amiable solution. Help Leonardo see reason. With the Pythagorean Unifar, we will remake humanity together. Not no. under my creed. <laughs> Not under my creed. Ucciderlo! You will be caught. Leonardo, I must know! We can after him! Okay. That's Go so annoying. He danced around instead of actually attacking me. Yeah, all your friends are dead. Go! Lol. Very that foolish. You just killed your guy. Stay away Game. from me, assassino. We are all the same underneath. Yet these people persist in their witch hunts. Die. But yeah, that little you like intended. climbing puzzle was just annoying to me. You an assassin. Mainly because I'm angry. The enemy of knowledge? One must choose to search for truth. Forcing it on others accomplishes little. These lost people. Who are I in think the this kingdom, is the first actual confession that we've had as an assassination in this game. Che tu possa conoscere la verità nella morte. That is hilarious. In pace. Banish us back to our primitive origins. His corpse is speaking. Come, let us leave this place. We cannot, Ezio. Not without reaching the final room of the temple. You are hurt. I will be fine. If that number is left intact, we risk another madman discovering it. They never accidentally pressed that plate. Come. Take that torch. I will lead the way. Yeah. Honestly, this would have been a grand DLC if not for that stupid 100% completion synchronization. Of Bibbidi Ba. Thank goodness I sent Massimo to look for my paintings. It delayed their progress significantly. And again, it's just like I, I hate that 100% completion bonus of. Complete puzzle in under five minutes. Why? Just why? Let puzzle be puzzle and puzzle be fun. Time limiting a puzzle is just never fun unless it's an easy puzzle, so it's like a speed Tetris. Making it just like, hey, this puzzle that you don't really know the flow the of five minutes. The soul moved to Finding the pieces in under five minutes, sure. The puzzle fire, itself? Which symbolizes knowledge. Again, the puzzle itself in under five minutes? Just come on. Let people enjoy the goddamn puzzle. Just feels rude. Well, that's blinding. This feels like God of War. In overall design. And yet, sadly, the experience is ever so slightly tainted by the game being very pushy. With its synchronization challenge. I like to do things like in the same run now I can get back up here. as a like as an efficiency thing.
It's like, if I can do thing in one go, I want to do thing in one you go. You are almost there! Easy for you to say. Alright, that was my fault. I just assumed that the game did not give me reason to not assume, so really it's the game's fault. Very rude, almost throw me off to my death. Climb down, please. There we go. And now I activate thing. This feels less we like knowledge onward. and more like uh, parkour. I suppose Salah is out having fun spending my ardent florins. He is safe at home. I am relieved. About the florins, of course. <laughs> you do not need to lie to me. Salah fits you. I approve. I am. Um... Leonardo da Vinci at a loss for words. That is a first. So there's the implications. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. This room could use some light. Light. <laughs> light away. And then that starts a ticking bomb. Do you hear that? The sound of wind. I know that symbol. It's probably going to change as we use the wind. The Pythagoreans believed all the forces of nature could be whittled down to numbers. Mathematica can then act on nature, allowing man to harness nature's power. All right. Game, please. I do grab face. Now I, I can get, get back, back up here. here. The assuming did not hurt me. And now I fly and grab face once more. The, mo the sound of the wind blowing through, like, wherever it is, sound uh, it just sounded like a, a neat sound. Now I can get back I'll up. If I fall. The same stock Ezio, Ezio phrase that we've been hearing since the like ex Oh, get why? Fuck off! That is stupid. That is fucking stupid. It is not my fucking fault that the goddamn game was like, hey, dude, brain damage. Don't jump an obvious fucking thing. And the thing again, I don't know if clicking that would restart at the checkpoint or not. Well, let's fucking find out. Let's give me more angry, game. Give me a reason to get angry at you. You fucking asshole. 
so fucking stupid. That is the dumbest fucking thing. Fuck off. I wouldn't be nearly as angry if the game hadn't already just fucking pissed me off with the stupid 100% synchronization bullshit with the puzzle. I don't fucking care. Move the fuck along. Complete and utter bullshit. And yeah, sure, I could just replay the memory. But again, at this point, it's just fucking principle. It's one thing if it's just like, oh, I went all the way through this memory and it's a stupid time trial. It's another if, like, the memory is, like, easy to do, like a puzzle, and it's just like, hey, fuck you, do it fast. Or like this, where it's just like, fuck you, the game itself is just going to goddamn break for no reason. That is honestly fucking stupid. We both know it. That number is coming to our nature, all things. A special place in hell resides for all the people who worked on the parkour system and never fucking fixed issues like that. So goddamn fucking stupid. That is such a fucking stupid thing. Seriously. You want to escape? It's just so fucking stupid. Utter aggravation. Go! Stop him! Very foolish. Stay away some from of the me, dumbest things. I have ever seen. And again, the falling damage is so fucking inconsistent in this game. Just some of the dumbest decisions. Why the fuck can you take falling damage in a parkour puzzle? that has the, hey, don't take damage stipulation. Especially when it wasn't my fucking fault. So fucking stupid. That is honestly enraging. Just honestly enraging. We are all the same! Gun. But yeah, it's you just like, that shouldn't be a thing. Also, the game won't let knowledge? me skip the cutscene. must choose to search for truth. What is the Forcing fucking point of being able to skip cutscenes if you're not actually These gonna let me people. skip the fucking cutscenes? Warring kingdoms. I would have ended their suffering. Que tu possa conoscere la verità nella morte. Preguiescat in pace. And suddenly, now I can. Game is fucking stupid. But yeah, I am honestly enraged goodness, at that design decision. It delayed their progress significantly. The moment the combat is over, it should be, uh, you no longer have to do the side, like, you don't have to worry about it. That is done. But no, the game is just fucking stupid. With its design decisions. Why? Why in the world would you ever design the fucking game like that? Why? And also, don't understand why can't, like, seemingly can't, is there the option of going to... There's just restart memory and abort memory. There is no actual, hey, I would like to go to checkpoint memory. Which is just fucking stupid. What's the point of checkpoints if you can't manually access them? 
Like, sure, I understand not letting you, like, ooh, pick and choose which checkpoint to start from. But people should at least be able to go and be like, hey, I want to restart from the checkpoint because of stupid bullshit. And then the game just goes, sorry, stupid bullshit happened, but you, you have to live with it. Genuinely fuck off game. It is one thing to be like, ooh, this is designed this way, and I dislike it. It is a complete another when the complete failure of the design of the game just completely ramps up against the design of the rest of the game. Now I can get back up here. The auto run of like, ooh, I'm holding forward, go to right place please, because it is only right way to go. Only for the parkour to go, I'm gonna go to the place that can't be accessed you and you're gonna fall and take there. damage. Easy for you to say. And nobody ever thought to fix that. <laughs> or may hell, maybe they added it. It's just like, it should not be a thing. And again, the inconsistency of fall damage in this goddamn thing is very frustrating. And again, with the messing with the goddamn camera. Assholes. Oh, you're in mid-movement, which will affect the goddamn stupid pathfinding? yippee ki -yay. Just utterly enraging that that is even slightly a thing. It just better not fucking happen again. We must continue onward. I suppose I'll be out having fun spending my hard floor again. He is safe at home. I am relieved about the Florins, of course. You do not need I to lie to me. I fucking swear, if it happens Salai again, fits you. I'm I liable to just end the stream. I am. Um, because I'm now Leonardo dealing with that goddamn bullshit. At a loss for words. That is a I refuse. And again, it ruins the coolness of the moment. It ruins the coolness of the dungeon when they're like, hey, here's a stupid 100% synchronization thing that you have to worry about. And due to the design of the game, it can happen whenever. Make you fail. And then just completely and utterly ruin the experience. I think I hate the 100% like bonus objective things now because they just get in the way of the normal game and I don't even think so far there hasn't been an actual decent point to their existence they haven't unlocked anything like what even is the point now earlier on in the game they said ooh diddly dee doing this might unlock other repressed memories and shit but that uh, doesn't feel like it's happened. And now I'm just utterly enraged at the design of this fucking place. We're gonna make it so that there's just enough room for you to take fall damage because we're fucking assholes. This is terrible design. I think I'm gonna ha like... And why is it even, hey, don't take any damage whatsoever? Is it because, oh, this is last mission, have to be hard? Like a child's understanding of game design. Like, what if it was something interesting, like... I don't know, because obviously they... We're going to fucking take this slowly now. Because the game tried to auto-jump to here from that pole. With a wall in the way! With a wall swingy corner thing right there! Which is just some of the dumbest fucking shit! Why the fuck would the game try to do that? Alright, good, there's a pole. I thought the pole was like some kind of. like, uh. Maybe Bop. That was running across the top, the top like a. Uh, like a furnishing thing or something. But yeah, when it comes to optional objective thingies, you either need to make it so that people can Only restart 
before we reach the center. Game. Yes, just let me drop down. Not take fall damage. Okay, yeah, when it comes to secondary, like, completion objectives, like, either have them all be like, ooh, you just get more money. Like, either make them negligible, or, like, like, there needs to be a, a nice balance of, yes, this is a challenge, but also, yes, it's not bullshit. Having the lull, the pathfinding gets in the way of playing the game is just stupid. Unbelievably stupid. Should not exist. And, like, normally I wouldn't be upset by the, ooh, don't take any damage thing, because normally it wouldn't affect anything. Harmony was achieved for the Pythagoreans when multiplicity became unity. When many thoughts combine to form one original idea. Democracy? But, yeah, when the climbing and parkouring actually functions, it's fucking fine. The only reason I lost that and got so angry is because the built-in base system of the game decided to just spaz out again. Which just shouldn't be a thing. Like, either let me access... That could help if I fall. Either let me access... Yes. ...the checkpoint... Very funny. Yeah, like, just, like, make me... Let me access checkpoints... ...or make the challenges not stupid. Especially when it's the controls that just decide... ...we're just not going to work today. Which is just the dumbest thing in the world. It is not my fault when the game itself decides that it's just not going to function. I was going to flip my goddamn lid if it did it again. It's like, it's one thing if the auto parkour messes up when you're running around the city, because I understand that. There's a lot of geometry, and there has to be some level of automation when it comes to the game understanding when and where the assassin characters can do what. That is understandable if it's just in the middle of free roam, free world diddly d. This is a dungeon that is handcrafted. It should not have that have that uh, that fucking issue. The pathing for the parkouring, unless explicitly, like, taken manual control of to move away and do something dumb. If you are facing in the right direction from usually, very, very easily, cardinal directionally, like, done controls, usually it's right, left, up, or down when it comes to the game deciding which, what, where, and why. So when the game is just like, the controls say fuck you, it just shouldn't, it just shouldn't happen. Because the controls should be tamed in these hand-designed environments. In places that are like mission-based, of how you climb about, especially when it comes to... When it comes to these, like, dungeons... Or, like, story-important, mission-important climbing areas... Should not suffer... Automation stupidity! Especially when that interferes with your goddamn one hundred percent synchronization is achieved, bullshit. But the door is not opening. Please don't fucking hurt me. Actually, you know what? Right. Just 
light jump down. Another puzzle. Are you gonna throw? Hey, do this in two seconds at me. Leonardo, come here. Avoid the fire. Don't burn your souls. Recognize these symbols? No. Wait. These are the symbols that were shown to me by the Apple of Eden. Huh. They're in the wrong order. Let me just... So <laughs> Leonardo gets to do the puzzle? These. Yay. Done. I think I could have done it because it's puzzling as well. It's just like, ooh, move things so things together. Is this where another Apple of Eden is? I know this architecture. Is this gonna be a big Minerva ending thing that was supposed to be saved for after I beat the game? And here I am doing it super early? Probably. Those are not Pythagorean symbols. 43, 39, 19, N, 75, 27, 42, double. Nothing. The cult of Hermes is wrong. The number is meaningless. You are leaving? No mere number can repair the world. Come, my friend. Help me charter a ship to Nevada. I must finish with Cesare Borgia. It is not intended for us. It's probably meant for Desmond. What are you not telling me? What else are you working on? Well, I have begun several dissection studies. Then King Louis XII seems interested in hiring me as an engineer. Oh, yes, I'm thinking of repainting the St. John lost in the Villa Fire. Salai would model for it again, of course. Then <laughs> perhaps I will study a woman with child to see how her body changes. Interesting. Tell me more. So yeah, literally the DLC is amazing so long as you avoid the 100% synchronization bonus. But then it's just like, why does it exist at all? Bleh. Re 1506, Desmond, thanks to you, we have found what we are looking for. Lucy was right about Ezio's piece of Eden and acted through Leonardo to reveal its secret. You have saved us valuable time, of which we have less and less. Please do not inform Lucy or Sean of your discovery, or our security depends on it. Now I must go, but I will see you soon. Whatever, crazy man. But yeah, that is just an exceedingly frustrating design decision. The synchronization bonuses. Especially because they don't fucking do anything. The synchronization bonuses don't do anything. They don't do anything. As far as I can tell, they don't do anything. They don't seem to unlock anything. They don't really seem to pertain to anything. Who knows, maybe they literally do nothing. And they're just there as a completion percentage. I might just look it up in between streams, like, hey, what the fuck does this actually do? And if it doesn't do anything, I think I might just go ahead and uh, stop giving a shit about those goddamn things, because it is unforgivable that the game design is so piss poor that the fucking thing gets in the way of shit. It's just like, it shouldn't. It should never get in the way of it. And yet it does. It just, it shouldn't get in the way of uh, normal gameplay. And yet, magically it does. Which is just unacceptable. And just should not happen. It should not happen at all. If you have a thing and you expect the player to do it, it shouldn't be hampered by piss poor gameplay. Of which that was piss poor gameplay.
mainly is piss poor gameplay because of the diddly d, because of the 100% synchronization bonus bullshit. But to end off things, so I can keep ranting, we're gonna pull the money out and see, is there anything that we can res renovate? There is one, two things over here, so. But yeah, it's like literally the DLC would have been perfect and would have been a wondrous, wonderful time. The, the best series of missions, I think there might have been some annoyance early on, but I forget it. I'm not going to be forgetting this because of just how <coughs> aggravating it is to be playing a game and for the game to go, oops, the thing that we are known for, the auto parkour, has decided to flip a lid, flip its shit, and go insane. And it's just like, that should not be happening three fucking games in to your goddamn parkour assassin series. It just it shouldn't be happening. My anger has given me a headache. Because that is just the dumbest thing. It's one thing for the game to go, Oh, I want to parkour onto a ledge when you're holding down the parkour running thing. It is a complete another when the game consistently now, well, maybe not consistently, but a decent few number of times just flagrantly does something that nobody would ever want to do. Which calls into question of why the fuck would you do it, game? Why would you try to jump to a place that you physically cannot get to? For one, it's like, it's already annoying enough when the game parkours to a place that I don't want it to parkour to. Kind of like that, but on a wider scale. It is a complete another when the game literally stops functioning and sends you plummeting to your damage Bring me your sick and wounded. after, especially when the 100% synchronization is what it is. It's just not good. It's just not good design. It's very bad. It's terrible even. And, like, both that, like, that one's far more egregious because it's like, that has nothing to do with me. I was just playing the game as anybody would be expected to. Trying to go to the obvious thing. And then the game decided, actually, we're going to try and do the impossible today and fail miserably. Which is just unacceptable. With the speedrun the puzzle thing, that is partially a me issue. I personally think that it is nonsensical to have the entire thing, because, again, it's a puzzle. It's like, hmm, I shall think on this. Take my time. It's like, well, that's the point. It adds challenge. No, it doesn't. There is so far nothing, like, in fact, since I am continuing to rant, let me look up Assassin's Creed Brotherhood 100% diddly D synchronization for what it even does. 100 sync. What does it even fucking do? Oh, it's just for cheats. For replaying memories. Oh, and there are also... So... Sometimes, when doing main missions, and you 100 sync them, you can unlock cheats for replaying missions. But, additionally, as Demon Desmond increases his synchronization with Ezio, you unlock Ezio's repressed memories. So I can't even skip them. I can't even skip the damn things because they unlock more content. If it was just cheats, that would be one thing. I would be willing to say, eh, fuck it, I don't care. But it unlocks more missions to do. Which is just... Bad. Just bad. Because I want to do, do most of the game when it comes to missions. 
If it's like side things like the challenges, I don't really care. But if it is actual honest to god memories, like I guess the Christina memories, those must be what these 100% diddly d unlock, I guess. It is just exceedingly poor design on what the 100% synchronization bonus objectives are so far. Because they get in the way of some missions. Sometimes they're interesting, like don't use the rooftops. That's fun. Don't use ranged weapons. That's fun. Kill your targets with the hidden blade. That's fun. And even some that are like, ooh, don't uh, lose three or more health squares. I can accept that. The, ooh, don't take any damage whatsoever, only for the game itself to bug out and die outside of the comments, uh, co the combat section is just unacceptable and I hate it. Because, like, I might have gotten annoyed at, like, the memory sequence 13 in Assassin's Creed 2. I might have gotten annoyed at that. But the synchronization bonus objectives, like that, are quickly running up my annoyance list. Because at least with Memory Sequence 13, it is one memory sequence. These are everywhere and of variable, variable, variable quality. I dislike the speedrun ones. And dislike ones that just like run counterintuitive to like the design of a level. And again, I don't understand why they couldn't have, like, fine-tuned the dungeon to the parkour. Like, again, I understand if the parkouring bugs out when you're running through the city. Just look at this one still frame at how many things you can interact with with the parkouring. I understand if it does it here, and if it does, it's a funny aha. I have outright died due to the game just like, I shall now fly and free multiple times due to fall damage. And I was just, like, mildly annoyed or even amused. When that interferes with the actual mission, though, utter rage. Complete and utter rage. It's just like, I have no patience for when design decisions get in the way of, like, the fun. And again, you can't even say, well, you don't have to do them. I do, because content is locked behind it. It was just cheat codes. If it was just cheat codes, I would not care. But it's not just cheat codes. It is missions. Missions are locked behind doing other missions to 100% synchronization. And I like the Christina missions which I presume are the ones that are repressed and therefore need to be unlocked. You can't lock, like, actual story content behind a bonus objective and then make the bonus objectives piss poor and be like, oh, you can just d d not do them. Oh, you can just not enjoy the game to the highest bit as possible of which our stupid design decisions get in the way of. I don't like it. It's one thing. It's like, because again, this is a single player story game. And I just want to experience as much of the story and as much of the unique missions as possible. Like the repetitive, like, assassination missions, I might not do all of those. Because those are, like, kind of cut and paste to a degree. If I feel like doing them, I'll do them. And if I don't want to do them, well, it'll be like Assassin's Creed 2 and I won't do all of them. But 100% synchronization bonus is like locking unique content away. Again, if it was just the cheat codes, I wouldn't care. But they did the mean thing and lock actual content behind them while making them bullshit and annoying, and I don't like it. Like, I will tolerate it somewhat. I No, I have tolerated it somewhat up until now. But after those last two, basically, fuck you, you don't get to enjoy puzzle. 
and then fuck you. Our inherent systems decided that it didn't like you, bad-mouthing our design systems. So now, the thing that should be working decides to not work. It's just very bad. Very bad. It's like, the idea of the 100% synchronization is cool, because it's like, do the missions as Ezio did them in real life. That's cool. 90% of them being frickin' time trials is stupid unless it is an assassination mission. Like, if it's just a normal, like, little, ooh, go to Pigeon Coop assassination mission, then I guess I don't really care that much because they usually are very simple and can be done and are very quick to retry if I fail. And plus, they are just one segment. But when it comes to the game, like, again, I don't understand why there isn't a checkpoint system that I can actually use when in missions. We're just like, ooh, checkpoint has been made. But we're not going to let you actually access the checkpoint under 99% of the game's conditions. It just is very dumb. Very, very dumb. And the sad thing is, for the most part, the game is really good, but the synchronization objectives are there all the time. They're very prominent and usually kind of annoying or boring. They're just a bother to do now. Every single one will be held in a disdain and they're just like, eh, I don't really like this. Again, it should be things like, don't use the rooftops. Don't use ranged weapons. Kill your targets with the hidden blade. Hell, that one didn't even say, oh, kill all of your targets with the hidden blade. It was just kill, like, three targets with the hidden blade out of five. It's just like, I do not understand it. I do not understand it at all. But yes, that will be it for now. For the most part, again, it's, the game is very good enough. But the small bit of annoyances are very big annoyances there. But, in the end, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have an archive channel where all these streams end up that I also stream to on YouTube, Neon Icy Games. So if you prefer watching on YouTube, you can watch my streams there, and even past streams, because YouTube is a good archival service. But if you want to watch me play games live on Twitch, you can do that too at Neon Icy Wings after... Ne twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And then I'm also trying to get back to making video content of just, of the scripted nature on YouTube, Neon Icy Wings, of which I just give my thoughts or give reviews and just make them very, much more easy to make in the video editing process so I can actually make them exist. And then if you want to know when I go live for my streams, you can check out my Twitch channel's schedule tab or follow me on Twitter so you can get notifications then because sometimes Twitch is kind of odd when it sends out stream notifications. Hmm. But also on uh, Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Tumblr, I also upload various arts that I create. So if you want more like my little avatar in the corner, you can catch them there. Mm, all at Neon Icy Wings except for the Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. Mm. But yes, 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 thank you very much for watching my pain and my rage. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.